Today we are going to take a look at how to create a farming list in Remine of property owners and different properties and export them as a CSV file. So this is a great way to really drill down on your target audience based on what your uh, marketing objective is in terms of reaching out to these property owners. Um, and it's a really good way to effectively spend your marketing dollars so you're not just painting a broad brush when it comes to your marketing objective. So once we are in Remine, we are gonna go over here to the search on the top left. And if you've ever done a search in Remine before, you might already have some filters turned on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on clear all filters here. We're also gonna go over here to listing or vice versa, listing or properties. Um, and we're going to clear any filters if you have um, the filters on there as well. So as you see from the search bar up here at the top, you could search by um, a specific address if you're looking for you know specific information on one property. You can do it a whole city, um, zip code, neighborhood, or school district. Um, so there is a lot of different ways to attack this based on what your objective is. So let's say maybe you are prospecting for off-market properties for your buyer and you know what school district they want to be in. Um, this is where you would type in the school district. But for the sake of this, we're going to keep it pretty broad and I am going to search by zip code. So I'm going to do a Winchester zip code. And as you can see, there are over 20,000 results. So we wanna go ahead and start drilling down on this. Um, and if you're on the map um, search, which I suggest starting with instead of the list, you can see that the area that you've searched will be highlighted in yellow. So from here, we're gonna go up to the top right and click on advanced. And this is where we can really start seeing all the filters that are available and the different filters that we can drill down on. So. You have two broad categories here. You have both listing and properties. We're gonna start with properties first. And as you can see, the public record results, we have almost um, 19,000 results here. So there are quite a few. Um, we are going to start drilling down into um, building type. This is a good one to use. We're gonna stick with single family. Um, we are going to keep scrolling down and drill down on a couple other things that you can drill down on. Um, property value is a good one. Let's say you're marketing for listings um, and there's a certain price point that you want to stay around, then you could select those and make sure that you're not targeting anything that's maybe in the sub 250 category. Um, or let's say you're targeting only million dollars and up, you might want to target your messaging to be more um, branded towards luxury. You could also do that with equity. Let's say you only want to target um, homeowners that have equity 250,000 and over. Um, you could drill down on that as well. And public record recording date. This is another one. Let's say you only want to target owners that have um, closed within a certain year. Um, for whatever reason, you could also set a time parameter as well. Um, ownership time, you could use that as well. Sell score, I'm not 100% sure how um, accurate the sell score is, so I probably would not suggest using this filter just because I'm not sure where they are getting this data, um, but most of the other filters are pretty safe to use. Um, another one that's really good is absentee owners. So if you are targeting specifically absentee owners, um, here is where you can select that. So you'll select both absentee in-state and out-of-state and apply that. Um, and the same could be said for the inverse. If you only want owner occupants, you could target those as well. Um, land use, I always select residential just in case. And you can filter down through other things as well. If you have a uh, investor that's looking for distressed sales, you can also use any of these filters as well. So applying those filters drilled down our results from almost 19,000 to only about 1,100, which is great. Um, and then this will also, your results will show both properties that are on market as well as ones that are off market that aren't currently listed. So we wanna make sure that we're not spending money targeting listings that are currently active. So we're gonna click on off market and we're gonna select off market. And that's gonna drill down to a little bit less, um, down to about a thousand records, which I think this is 
perfect for a farm. Um, and again, if you wanted to select the close dates and whatnot as well, you can do that. But for the sake of this, we're gonna be good with these results and we're gonna go click on list results. Now, what we wanna do here is go over to the top left and we are going to select all. So we're gonna select that box that's next to address. And then we're gonna go up to the top right and click on cart. And from here, we are going to basically save this search as a cart. Um, so I'm gonna name it something that I will remember and then click enter and I'm gonna add those properties to my cart. Now, once that's done, I can go over here to the left-hand toolbar and click on carts. And if you have multiple carts, you'll wanna select the one that you just created. And we will go ahead and again, select all by clicking on that checkbox that's to the left of notes. And then we're just gonna click export right from here. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to name the file. Um, if we want to include all the columns, which I do, we can do that. Um, if you don't wanna include all the columns and maybe you only want the property address, the mailing address, the owner information, we can do that as well. Um, oh, and I have too many characters, so we're just gonna name this test for the time being. And then once we click export, it will export all of our files whenever they are ready and you'll be good to go. And Remind is a very powerful tool, so I highly suggest if you have the time to just kind of play around with it. There's a lot of different ways that you can target owners and market for more business using Remind, um, but it can be very effective if you do it well and you do it consistently and you build a campaign from it. So if you have any questions, reach out to us at marketing at premiermove.com. Thanks.